go. What's up, every? <coughs> oh, what was that? Yo, what's up, every? <coughs> Oh, what was that? Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today is the NFC Championship game between the 49ers and the Green Bay Packers. But first, we gotta go do laundry. And also, and for today's vlog, we're gonna be talking about con constructive criticism and where to get proper criticism and how to accept that criticism. But before we go all through that, we gotta do laundry. So basically, before we start, let's head on back to the beginning, head back to the point of why you are actually in this space. So much like everybody, the path to being a YouTube creator or a content creator is pretty much the same. You get on YouTube and then you go ahead. I'm sorry? I'm filming myself. <laughs> why? 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 Film me. Film me, huh? Hi. What's your name? Joyce. Joyce, hi Joyce. Hi. Yeah, I'm just filming. I'm just filming a video, my my like a like a daily thing. Okay. <laughs> I got you. All right. You go, boy. Hey, thank you. So so basically, you 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 get started, and then you go ahead and and put these videos up, and you have one, two, three, four, five videos, and now you're you're you're, you're starting to meet new new creators and, and and whatnot, and now you're really wanting. Um, good constructive criticism and where do you actually find that one of the first places that people normally go for that particular criticism is <clears throat> you're obviously your friends and family but the one well that's all well and good the, the problem that I have or the problem with asking your friends and family for that constructive criticism is that they're not necessarily content creators so most of the time they're gonna give you nothing but positive criticism that's not necessarily bad but it might not necessarily be the best criticism that you could possibly get. Friends and family will generally give you great criticism. They're gonna tell you your videos are great and oh, it's excellent. It's because most of the time they can't do what you're doing. Therefore, anything above that level that they have is generally gonna be great for them. And is your grandma who barely can use an cell phone or a smartphone actually the right person to ask in regards to your content unless you're young enough where your uncle or grandpa or, or dad is actually Peter McKinnon or <clears throat> Casey Neistat they might not necessarily be the right people or the right person to ask for. it's really important to go ahead and Find that space, find that location within your area where you can get together with fellow content creators, people are either your level or above your level, and then not only are you actually there to collaborate with them, they can, you could be of an assistance to them and they could be an assistance for you. I personally feel that the best part, the very, 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 very best part about the YouTube space is the community, right? It, I enjoy helping others. I enjoy seeing somebody grow and get to that next level by using their passion and their creativity to just smash it. So as I grow as a creator myself, I try to give back to the ones that are just starting or have questions similar to the way that currently as I grow, I'm also trying to pick the minds of those people that, have, that I feel are on a level way above mine as far as their content, their cinematics, their storytelling, and whatnot. And that's that, that for me would be the only way, that for me would be the only way I can ever progress in, in this genre. Now don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people that just started YouTube that are very, 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 very creative and actually some of them are just 
way above my own skill level. So when you look at it, don't look at the fact that you just started YouTube. Don't look at the fact that their subscriber numbers are low, they're not monetized or whatever. It's about whether or not their content are up to par with your content and if theirs are above yours and they're willing to help you out or actually go, go, go try to seek their help. Go try to seek their help to see how you can make your stuff better because it's always a progression. It's always a movement. Ooh, I just, I just spat on my lens. So the next step in this all would be to take that criticism and actually apply it. But taking criticism, taking criticism is not as easy as people think. First of all, I'll be honest, at first, that criticism is really hard to take. And I remember when I was in, in college or in high school, as I was trying to give up a portfolio to get into college, and I was then criticized for like the very first time by people on a different level, like above my level, like real artists. Boy, that stung. Oh my God, like it stung. It almost made me feel like crawling into bed with the covers, with a 10 pound weight, and just hide, hide for months, maybe a year, maybe even until now. <laughs> Um, a lot of times I hear a lot of creators say, referring to their content or their, their product as, this is my baby. Well, there's also a lot of parents that like to fo post photos of their babies, like as newborns, and no disrespect to parents, because I'm a parent myself, and my daughter probably looked this way, but a lot of times, your kids look like E.T. wrapped in a blanket. They ain't that cute when they just first come out of you or come out of your wife. And once they first come out, they kind of like all wrinkly. They look, kidding aside, joking, joking aside. You can't always refer to your content as your baby. Unfortunately, you cannot be attached to it because you're, there's a continuous growth, right? There's this video and then the next video and then the video after that that you still have to grow towards. So this one you just put out is not your baby. It's just another stepping stone or another, it's just another, yes, it's another stepping stone for you to get to the level where you want to be. But taking that, taking that criticism and applying it to your work and not making it hurt so much is an art all on itself, right? It's, 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 an, it's an art because my videos have been criticized for the focus, for this, for that, for that, but especially the focus, and I've listened to y'all. So I've been trying to adjust it, but sometimes there's something that you can do about it. Don't be, don't be quick to label somebody a hater. Like a lot of times what I've found is that my most vocal, most, most vocal critics that actually give me the most hate and the most information that I feel like is hate are actually my biggest supporters. <laughs> yeah, sometimes your biggest supporters are the ones that will give you the God honest truth. So take a deep breath, relax, sink, you know, write down what they're saying is wrong with your video, write down what you feel like could improve or not or, or not really help you. Go through it. Go through all the criticism that they give you and, and then apply what you feel is fit for your own videos. Because in all honesty, nobody's gonna spend that much time writing down all the things that they feel could be corrected or what's good about your video unless they truly, really care. To wrap it up all guys, I just wanna leave you guys with a few little tidbits. It's be confident, but also find yourself a location or a spot or a group of friends or a group of fellow creators that will give you not only the positive things and motivation but also give you the necessary critique to help you grow as a content creator you know and the and these friends will also be the ones you can lean on when, when things are not going so well when your motivation is lacking you're always going to need a group it's a tough world out there it's a tough 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 world out there for content creators and you have to find the same like-minded people that will actually help elevate you both mentally spiritually physically whatever have you 
So I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you like this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You know how it goes. If you like it, hit the like, smash the like or whatever. And I'll see you next time. Ingat kayo. Bye.